All right, guys, I'm here with your, well, it's going to be a quick overall review on August and then our budget for August 21st through September 4th. So as far as um, last month goes, sorry, I got to learn to hold this phone so that I don't cover the microphone. I think I found a way that I know I'm not. So this is what I'm doing. Um, we had a tough month again. Um, I think I mentioned on the last budget video that they completely cut out all overtime. So this last paycheck, the paycheck we're actually getting today, was more than $500 short than our normal. Um, so it was tough. Um, that $71,815.99 was last month, um, at the end of the month, and then this month, August, the end of August, is 71,439.11. So that is a difference of 376.88, which is not good. Um, our car payment alone is $485. So that just tells you. But we do have my student loans on forbearance right now, so we could try to knock out the lower cards. And because of that, I notice I'm getting charged a little bit over $100 at least every month for um, interest. So we're gonna actually start this month by um, at least paying the interest every month as well. Um, because of all the stuff that we've run into in the last couple months, we haven't been able to knock out the lower card. So I'm about ready to just say, okay, we'll start paying the student loan payment again. But I'm gonna give it another month or two, paying the interest and see what we can do because I had heard Dave say one time that you should put them on forbearance if you can um, to pay off your credit card debt or whatever. So I did it reluctantly and I don't know how I feel about it. Like I'd rather keep those forbearance months I think in case of a real emergency. But I'm gonna try just a couple more months because we could potentially um, get much closer to paying off our credit card debt by the end of the year. Um, I don't know, we, we need to reevaluate, but because I'm not happy with our debt numbers every month. Of course, we're not putting any extra to the snowball right now. So, you know, that obviously doesn't help. So we'll see, he's starting to get his overtime back. He just sent me a text saying he's getting eight hours tomorrow on a Saturday, which is awesome. So we're, we're gonna see how it goes next month. And, and then we're gonna probably, probably start them back up, but um, and then the only other thing is we also did catch up with $750 on ex of extra rent that we needed to catch up on. So actually we did pay off about $1,100 in debt if you count that back rent. Um, so not too shabby. And this month is basically going to be all, um, the rent that we're, uh, backed up on too. It's going to be about $2,500. Oops, I dropped the phone. $2,500 in rent as well um, that we're going to be paying. Um, in a, you know, the $1,500 that we normally pay and then the rest that we owe. So, um, okay. Here is our budget for this coming paycheck. And then right here I have the next one already planned out. But here is this one. We've only got four credit cards or different bills due. Um, we've got the city card, the Walmart card, which is actually our snowball card. So, you know, depending on the end of the month, there might be more going towards it than that. Um, we also have Bank of America and then Sparklets is our water. I haven't paid that for like a month or two. So uh, we, I can get away with paying it every couple of months. So I do, but the, <laughs> the number gets pretty high. So it's $89 we owe now. So. That's no fun. Um, transfers, okay, so like I said, um, we are catching up on rent. So fifth, we're gonna transfer $1,500 today um, to catch up on rent some, and then uh, we always give to Emma $10. And then as far as that rent right there, it says Carrie's paycheck, I get paid next Thursday and whatever it is, is going to go towards this month's rent as well. Food, um, we are accepting the challenge to cut down our um, 
food bill by $100. So for this week, um, we actually might end up doing more than 100. And by the way, this is Gazelle Intense that's doing this challenge. Um, I'm gonna be gone all next week. Emma and I are gonna be gone. So we're actually gonna cut it down even more. So it might end up being more than 100 bucks. But food for the next two weeks, $70. Yes, we're going to do it. We're going to make it work. Um, we're going to eat up a lot of stuff that we have here and we're just going to be super cheap. I also have almost $12 that I've earned with my Fitbit points at Kmart. So I'm going to be able to cut down $12 worth of costs on there. And then I also cashed out just in case the $14 I have available on the um, Walmart savings catcher app. And it'll be available if we need it on tomorrow when we go grocery shopping. But if not, we're going to use it for the next um, food on the next paycheck. So we're going to try to do 70 for two weeks. Um, but also, if you'll notice, we have $50 for eating out. That'll be 25 for me and 25 for Tommy. Um, he's also getting his... Um, he usually gets $60 a month for... Um, blow money, but he signed up for a couple of things like a 5k and stuff like that and his birthday is this month So part, part of that was his birthday present and then also um, we just took down his blow money by 20 bucks So he's getting 40 um, We tend to under Estimate gas um, probably because we've been lately. We've been trying to go places. We went to Santa Barbara one weekend we went we just went to a birthday party up in um, mid or the middle of California. Um, so we go down to Disneyland sometimes like every other week. So I'm trying to do, um, we're gonna try to stick to $100 for the next two weeks. And I think that's gonna work since I'm out of town and I won't be driving to work every day as well. And then miscellaneous, this is a new category we're starting. Um, we are using the debit card too much for random small charges. So we are taking out $100 for miscellaneous charges. It's gonna be kind of like an envelope that we're gonna keep at $100 every time we fill envelopes. It needs to be replenished to 100, um, depend, no matter how much we use. So if we use 20 bucks, then we're just gonna put 20 more back in and have it 100. We're trying to get better about this. So um, I think this is the best way we can, um, at this point, we could try to be better. So we're limiting ourselves to $100. It can seem a lot, like a lot, and it probably is, but literally, we probably spend more than $100 every two weeks on random small charges, and that's not okay. So um, we're gonna try this method. Um, so, and then I wrote the 260 cash because that's what the total is that we need in cash. Um, I'm not taking the $100 out for gas. We'll use the debit card for that. But, um, so yeah. I broke it all down over here to take to the bank and stuff envelopes today. We got, um, that's how I do it. I'll just tear this piece up off the top of this paper and hand it over to the cashier so they know exactly how much to get out. Um, the hundred, so we're getting 260 out for envelopes, but then the rest of it's going to the other bank and the total is 400 that we're taking out. And then lastly, I have our, um, planned out the rest of the next two weeks for food. Um, we actually stuck to this very well, the top two weeks, the last two weeks. Um, we did really good. So, in fact, we've completely followed it this last week, like 100%, which is awesome. Um, so here comes the new one. I leave on the 29th, and my husband wants simple meals. Like, he wants to do simple things. One of his favorite things ever is mac and cheese with hamburger meat, and I hate macaroni and cheese. So he can just eat his heart's content in mac and cheese and hamburger meat while I'm gone. <laughs> so I have the first two days as that, but they, that actually might be switched around with the following three days. We'll see, because um, I'm gonna prep some taco chicken, shredded chicken, for him to make three meals of um, various um, Mexican meals. He's gonna do a quesadilla, burrito bowl, and either nachos or, um, or another night of quesadillas. Um, as far as this week before I leave, um, we're gonna do chicken and rice, which is one of my favorite things to make. Um, and it usually provides at least three days of leftovers, but we're gonna do two days um, and then have some for like lunches and random times that we want to snack. So chicken and rice, um, pizza on Sunday, 
Uh, I have a, some dough in the freezer I'm going to use. I tried to make pizza this past Sunday, and I go and look in the bread maker after it was made, and it was completely did not work. I don't know what I did wrong. Did I miss a step? I have no clue. I think it might have just didn't work or something, the machine. So we'll have to see if it works again. But um, in the meantime, we'll just use the dough that's in the freezer. Um, so yeah, chicken and rice leftovers on Monday. I'm going to make lasagna on Tuesday and I'm going to make two batches, one for this week and then one for t um, Tommy to warm up while we're gone. So we'll freeze that. Um, super easy meal for him to make. So um, we're going to make that. Uh, we're going to Disneyland on Wednesday and so we're packing a lunch. So we're just going to make some sandwiches, chips, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, lasagna leftovers on Thursday, which Tuesday and Thursday I work, so that'll be nice to have something easy. And then Friday night, we are going to have dinner out, something way cheap, <laughs> but um, that I have to be at the airport at 4 o'clock in the morning the following day with Emma, so we're going to be super busy, so we'll probably just pick up something really cheap um, to eat that night and just kind of spend time together as a family because Tommy isn't going to see Emma and I for a whole eight days, so... That sucks. Anyways, I was telling you about the schedule next week and me not being here. So Tommy will be having, let's see here, trying not to press anything I shouldn't be on the phone, on the camera. Um, mac and cheese, chicken quesadillas, chicken burrito bowls, chicken quesadillas, lasagna, 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 and then we will have pizza when I come home on Sunday. So we have that all planned out, and then my next thing to do is just make a grocery list, try to keep it under $70. So that's basically it. Um, I'm missing a week of work, obviously. It's not that much money, but um, we'll survive, and then we have this ready. And I see Tommy's just getting home right now. So I'm going to end this video, um, and we will uh, be back later. Um, with some more videos this week. Thanks, guys.